to it. Just, I guess, talk about Mikhail's outing. Six, six innings, six strikeouts, one hit. And just yeah, it was outstanding. Uh, exactly what we needed. Um, really not surprised at him to step up. I know he was excited and ready to pitch and came out. And uh, you could kind of tell from the first hitter of the game that the stuff was great and uh, really lifted our team. Why um, has it been so long since he's come to pitch? Um, you know, last weekend we had to kind of have all hands on deck with Oklahoma in that um, Friday game. And um, we liked how he matched up against a couple of their better guys, uh, Peyton Graham on the top of that order. And so that kind of took him out of the, the mix for Saturday. And, and I actually liked Ty against Texas. I felt like mm -hmm. that was the right person to throw. And then Sunday we kind of made a decision to, to cut the game up. And then I didn't, didn't really feel like Tuesday was the spot um, that we wanted him to kind of fall into. So mm -hmm. really just a, that, that's kind of how it worked out. Um, again, let's see, three home runs today. And it seemed, it seemed like it was not leaving a lot of guys left on base. It was more so like cashing those runs in. Mm -hmm. What do you think allowed this team to, you know, kind of really run up the score today? Yeah, I mean, as far as uh, leaving guys on base, I mean, when you get on base a lot, you're going to leave more guys on base. So right. I, I think that's part of it. But I think guys just not trying to do too much and getting enough of those at-bats under their belt where they're slowing down and doing what they need to do to execute. Jordan Thompson continues to be very consistent at the plate. Yeah. What is What makes him so dynamic there? Well, I think he's been hitting the ball hard. I mean, he hasn't had a lot to show for it lately. So I haven't gotten too caught up in the results. You can tell he's still hitting up there in the – middle of the order it's because I think the at-bats have been quality but he's continuing to put in work and um, you know it's good good talented player that will only get better I think as the season goes along. Obviously uh, you guys walk into a pretty significant week next week with Tulane and starting your SEC play mm -hmm. just uh, kind of assess maybe where this team is and just where you guys are going. Today. Yeah um, you know I mean I'm, I'm happy to I'm happy with how we took care of business this week I mean this it was a, a tough loss on Sunday like nobody felt good uh, coming home um, you know we just didn't play particularly well and um, kind of sour taste in our mouth from that but uh, responded well with a, a good win on Tuesday and then uh, played well this weekend. Um, really, from the mound, I think the pitching was the story of the weekend where, uh, I mean, we had that bad inning on Friday, but other than that, they were really good. And so, um, you know, this offense, this group of position players, if we uh, throw strikes the way that we did this weekend, then we're going to be in a good spot to win a lot of games. Anything new on Blake or not really? You guys are Nothing. I mean, yeah. it's there's the, this is the second day of, of what he's doing procedurally, and then, um, you know, the hope is to – get the ball in his hand and, and throw tomorrow. I know you uh, hate to talk about errors, but only one today. You feel like mm -hmm. it's, you know, making progress in that department? Yeah, I think I thought Jordan played amazing at short today. He made three really nice plays. I think that the whole the whole thing will die off quickly. I, I really believe that. Like, we have talented guys that um, needed to play with a little more confidence and with a little more aggressiveness, and they're doing that. I think we only mishandled one play, well, I guess two. Um, I mean, that one today could have been scored a hit, you know. I mean, that's up for debate. Um, but I think I'm very comfortable with how we took care of the ball this week. You mentioned the confidence there. Um, you know, obviously still too lane this week. But mm -hmm. going into SEC, a game like today, just how much does that help out? With the well, I just wanted – I mean, we met after the game yesterday and just – we really wanted to kind of concentrate on today and, um, you know, not look past it. I mean, you know, the, the mental habits that we're trying to build – uh, the consistency and approach that we're trying to build, uh, it's all the same. I mean, it, it may be hard from that from the outside. You know, sometimes the opponent makes it a little harder on you, but that's when you got to be more sharp. And um, I think I feel confident in, in that part of it. It doesn't mean we'll win every game or we'll play great all the time, but I like that, you know, we get into a situation where, you know, good teams will fire back at us. Like we're, we're in a better place to be prepared to handle that. What do you uh, what do you like about that Gio and Wright Jacob in third uh, line for you guys? Yeah, um, you know I just kind of look at the day by day. You know who's pitching for the other team, who's pitching for our team, how to set the defense, matchups, um, left right balance, speed, power, hitting skills, ability to be a little bit more dynamic. Um, I mean Josh Pearson is a guy like I'd love to start. I mean like I mean Josh Stevenson. I mean if you threw those guys in the lineup, you'd feel great. It's just it's hard to take any one of those guys out right now. Um, so it's just kind of a day-by-day -day thing. And um, 
you know, so I like the element that Gio adds. Um, it's nice to see him come up with a big hit, home run in the first uh, today. Um, really good two out hitting with runners in scoring position. And, um, good, good recipe for, for success for us today. Drew Bianco got his first hit today. Um, can you talk about maybe, you know, what you're seeing in him and how he's progressing? Yeah, I, I have a lot of confidence in him. I mean, I started him the other day because mm -hmm. I think he, he adds a competitive element to our team that I like and, um, you know, want to get him opportunities as well. It's just this is this is a good uh, position player group, and so it's hard to crack and, and get everybody in there. So those at-bats today, for those guys that are just on the peripheral, those matter. You know, they, they definitely matter. And uh, I'm paying attention to every pitch. I'm coaching them every pitch the same way I do when the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. And, um, you know, it's good to see him hit a ball hard and uh, stay on it and use the middle of the field well.